Bugatti Biebs opens up about um, his drug use and just constant, you know, and just, you know, what fame can do to you. I'm really curious about um, the whole uh, Justin Bieber rebrand or the whole Justin Bieber um, story so far. It's been an amazing one, hasn't it? He's probably, I think nowadays, I think looking back on it, I think maybe with maturity through the internet and maybe through seeing stuff from reality TV shows, I feel as if nowadays people are a little bit more appreciative or a little bit more understanding or are a little bit more um, compassionate to the pe people like Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian. I think now that we've seen what celebrity and what influence and what um, notoriety and what fame and what you know wealth can do to a person we now appreciate people like a justin bieber who essentially made it when he was what 13 or something or even younger and we appreciate kim kardashian who has essentially been famous all her life right or majority of her kind of you know adulthood for the most part right who's lived her, no who's lived her entire life in front of the camera we can appreciate just how well adjusted they are as human beings right because we know for sure me and you i know if that was me i would have freaked out a long time ago right i freak out just regularly right and a month if i get paid and i get i don't know and i get giddy and i start you know calling people that i shouldn't be calling and hanging out with people i shouldn't be hanging out with and all of a sudden you know you know what i mean right so imagine how i am as a working dude right i get crazy when i get paid right imagine if you're a celebrity and you've got all the time in the world you've got minders and handlers and security guards and enablers and friends or whatever it may be called who are all around you because you have that aura that kind of um you you emit that kind of vibe that light that draws people in imagine how much of a freak out you'd be and on top of that imagine you're justin bieber and you're a severely attractive dude severely good looking you sing like an angel you dance amazing too right softly spoken from canada for the most part well-adjusted human being imagine your life imagine how difficult your life would be but i'm happy happy to hear that he's been quite open and forthright about his whole issues he's been facing. I'm not sure if this is something that he's doing because he feels like he, he owes his fans or is this part of his recovery? Uh, maybe it's, no, I don't know if the two-step program allows you to do this kind of things like speak out loud and kind of ask forgiveness from the public, whatever it may be called, because I think you do it, right? In the uh, two-step two -step program, you kind of ask forgiveness to those around you that you've hurt and then you kind of broadcast that to the wider world as a form of accountability. So maybe that's part of it. Or just maybe he just thought, you know what, people need to see behind the curtain. And plus, I think because a lot of people are still pining and waiting for him to release music or to go back on tour because if he's, he did abruptly stop his tour, you know, convert to Christianity, get married and just kind of, you know, kind of retreat from stardom. So we don't really know what's going on, but it's happy to see he did a little bit of a post on Instagram detailing his experience. This is a post here I've got here on the on the screen. I hope you guys can see it. Um, it's on High Snobiety and it says Justin Bieber just his mental health and drug abuse early uh, fame in a candid Instagram post. This, I'm going to read the post to you now and get up here on another screen. Um, so this is an amazing post from Justin Bieber. And again, super ratings for coming out and saying this out loud, right? Because again, he doesn't owe anyone anything, I think, in the most part. But it's a really... Um, in light, it's really enlightening, enlightening um, post in general, and it gives you it gives you a bit of a sneak peek on what it must be like to be this dude day in day out, right? So this is the post that you put on Instagram. It says the following: um, It's hard to get out of bed in the morning with the right attitude when you are overwhelmed with your life, uh, with your life, your past job responsibilities, emotions, your family, finances, your relationship. It feels like there's trouble after trouble after trouble. You start foreseeing the day through lenses of dread and anticipate another bad day. A cycle of feeling disappointment after disappointment. Sometimes it can even go to a point where you don't even want to live anymore. When you where you feel like it's never going to change. I can fully sympathize with you. I cannot change my mindset. I could not change my mindset. I am fortunate to have people in my life that continue to encourage me to keep going. And that's the one thing you have to really give um, Justin Bieber's family credit for too. As Justin Bieber's amazing as he is, his family and his friends around him really deserve a lot of credit because it's not often that you see child stars of his level of stardom, of his level of notoriety, of his level of talent and influence who are surrounded by people who seem quite well adjusted. Apart from the little freak out thing he had with Little Flip and a few other people, for the most part, his family, his managers, everyone around him really held him down. Because sometimes it feels as if when you read those stories from like old Hollywood of people kind of, you know, um, you know, flying up into the sun and completely burning out, usually it's because the friends, usually there is an element in the stories where the friends could have easily stepped in and said something and be able to rein them back in, right? Because we all know sometimes more likely than more often than not your friends and family are the ones that are going to keep you on a level playing field right oh you hear so many times from 
celebrities, football stars, right, that they keep around them, the people that they've known since childhood because they're going to be the ones that kind of, you know, knock them down a peg where they're feeling a little bit too, you know, when they're getting a bit too big-headed. But sometimes as well, you know, because you're paying those guys rent or you're in, or you're, you, you've kind of changed their circumstances or, you know, you're, you've you got them around you to just roll weed or whatever and just you're paying them your own salary or whatever, it doesn't, I can't blame the friends too for being a little bit of a sheep and not kind of, you know, standing up and telling your friend, hey, you got to chill out. So to have friends in your circle who are not afraid of maybe getting excommunicated, because it happens a lot too, right, celebrities, when they get called out of their shit and they kind of get exposed by their friends, they can sometimes retreat and push everyone away and then no one can help them. But for Justin Bieber to, number one, be receptive to the conversation, be receptive to constructive criticism, and for his friends to have the courage to say it to a mega superstar like him is really really big look and i think that's the real key to it like these people around them people will say there's the people around people around you no in his case there's the people around him that save his life for sure because if if not we know how the story could have ended um i unfortunately have people in my life that continue to encourage me to keep going you see i have a lot of money clothes cars accolades achievements awards and i was still unfulfilled have you noticed the statistics of child stars and the outcome of their lives? There is an insane pressure and responsibility to put on a child whose brain, emotions, and frontal lobes the decisions are making aren't developed yet. And that's true, right? I think a guy's frontal lobe isn't developed until they're 28. I think women is like 25, right? And that's your decision sense making part of your brain. So when you see young dudes freaking out and acting a fool for the most part, like there's a common trope, right? You see of like girls having these really intelligent, fun, really intelligent thoughtful deep conversations around the dinner table around a table around a bar somewhere and then the next scene you cut across a, a group of boys just beating their chest burning themselves with a lighter and just acting a fool right that's because usually guys have not matured that well right in the front or lower right the decision making process doesn't mature that well and guys are going to be guys now imagine that pressure on a dude not on a dude a child and he's got the entire you know he's essentially looking after a whole group of people that's the one thing i've noticed a lot when I read or listen to entrepreneurs, the one thing they always speak about is that running a business isn't just about running a business and ensuring you make profit and whatever it may be. The most, the most stressful part of running a business is the idea that you're essentially looking after all these people. You're paying their rent. You're essentially paying their mortgage. You're essentially putting their children through school. So that it's the same amount of pressure of knowing that these people are depending and counting on you can sometimes ebb away at you, which is why the biggest, you know, the commercial successful entrepreneurs would say that entrepreneurship should be treated like athletics, right? Some people are made for it, some people aren't, because that's where the real pressure is. Because probably, for the most part, most people could run a successful business if you've done the education and you did the homework and you had enough money to kind of, you know, do enough experiments, quote unquote. But to actually be able to manage people to get them to cajole them around an issue or to around a product, around a service that they did, they, they, they hadn't invented. They're not really that passionate about, but to get them to do it with all their might and also to have that pressure on you day in, day out is something that I would not wish on anybody, I would assume, let alone a, a kid, a teenager, right? Um, da, da, da. No rationality or defiant rebellious things all of us have to go through. But when you add the pressure of stardom, it does something to you that is quite unexplainable. You see, I didn't grow up in a stable home. My parents were separated when I was eight. Um, were eight were eighteen, separated with no money, still young and embarrassed as well. As my talent progressed and I became ultra successful, it happened within a strand of two years, which is very true, right? He went from singing in his bedroom to suddenly being an Ellen within a space of two years, which is even you know a longer period of time. Considering like you know, look at someone like six nine, right? He's obviously going through what he's going through, but his kind of rise was essentially what most kids want right he went from being a complete nobody to suddenly getting collaboration with Kanye West and having an album with Nicki Minaj on it right like just insanely successful um by 20 I made every bad decision you could have thought of and went from one of the most loved and the most adored people in the world to the most ridiculed judged and hated person in the world being on stage according to the studies is bigger dopamine rush than almost any other activity so these massive ups and downs of their own are very bad to manage you notice a lot of touring bands and people end up having a phase of drug abuse and i believe it's due to not being able to manage the ups and downs that come with being an entertainer of course man imagine what that must feel like being justin bieber and walking out to an arena of 30,000 people screaming your name night in, night out, right? And in the background, you've got this internal turmoil, right? It's like an absolute, you know, thunderstorm erupting in your mind and your soul. Then you've got all your family problems, your friend problems, what people you grew up with, media, gossip, whatever it may be called, TMZ cameras outside your van. Wow, man. Um, 
I felt I could never. Uh, I started doing pretty heavy drugs at nineteen and abused all my relationships, which we were obviously, you know, we're aware of from the outside looking in. I became resentful, disrespectful to women, angry. I became distant to everyone who loved me, and I was hiding or hiding behind a shell of a person that I had become. I felt like I could never turn it around, and it's taken me years to bounce back from all these terrible decisions, uh, fix broke relationships, and change relationship habits. Luckily, God blessed me. Oh, God, pause it for one second. When someone knocks and you have no idea who it is, someone buzz the door in my flat as you could have heard that and I don't know who it is. Great. Thank you for the heads up as you do for the most part. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Anyway, um let's continue on. People always kinda of just try and disturb you when you're doing stuff, and it's like, come on, mate, you can't disturb me when I'm doing stuff. Let's go back here. Oh, OBS, cool. Okay, let's go back on the screen. I was hiding behind a shelf of person. All this to say, even when the uh the odds are against you. Keep fighting. Jesus loves you. Be kind today and be told uh, today and love people today, not by your standards, but by God's perfect, unfulfilling love. So again, a really wholesome message from um, Justin Bieber. Again, I wish him nothing but, you know, a clean recovery. Um, that journey is going to be a long one. Um, I'm sure he's feeling pressure from the fans to kind of get back on stage. But this is when he needs time to really recover and really um, repair himself from all the damage and the stress that he's taken over the years and in general too i think the more time he's given the better his story will be when he comes off when he comes out of it from the other side and if he doesn't have to come out of it the other side and compare himself then so be it too but i think in general we want our biggest stars our most influential stars to be um well adjusted right we've lost enough amazing entertainers over the years to not have this issue kind of repeat itself again and again and again this is not what we need so yeah um congratulations to, well congratulations to justin for being so brave to point that stuff out there from the first place because again he doesn't owe anyone an explanation but if he wants to then fair enough i completely understand where he's coming from